Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. We are still going through the Light Kingdom. This might be the last episode we do the Light Kingdom with. Because I have enough moons already. And we're gonna go against another brutal. Let me just press this button here to activate the flower. I'm gonna get some purple coins even though I really don't need them. Alrighty. So, let's get the zipper which also has money in it I believe. What do you know? I could buy a sticker for my vehicle now. I, I really could. Alright, check that out. See, I got up there that way. Check this out. Yeah, that's not the right button. Hold up. That is still not the right button combo. That is... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Check that out! Did you see that shit? Alright, uh, chuck one here and another boss battle for the ages. It'll be against Rango the tall guy. Oh, oh, oh. Gigamalow! Oh, he's Grasindo. Hey, that's my boy. He got, like, that spike from, uh, Ape Escape hair. I'm gonna be super cool here. Ugh. Damn, okay. I, I have to do this the way they want me to. Alas, I'm not skilled with the speedrunners. Get some coins in case I die. Also, like, this chase scene here is, like, annoying. But somehow you can, like, jump on his head with that. I'm probably gonna die during this fight. Damn, okay. Hurry up, Rango. Okay, well... Let's go, Ringo! Hey, I somehow hit that. That's cool. Oh yeah, I'm gonna actually try and jump on his head during the jumpy scene. Nope, that is not what I wanted to. What the fuck? Okay, they, you know what? We're not doing shenanigans. Okay, and then just hopefully I don't get hit on this last one. I think, like, the square tech- what the fuck am I- Man! <laughs> Shit. As I was saying, the square technique is what works, or maybe the circle technique, who really knows? The Koopa circle technique. Alright, and... watch, we're gonna boop him. That is not what I wanted to do. Hurry up. Throw you a hat, boy! Nice. Ah! <laughs> Okay, well, I made that more annoying than it should have been. And now we got the triple banana moon ski. Banana! Ooh. Boodles over the lake. Oh. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's any other missions. I guess we will find out. Otherwise, we're going to the next area. We're going to the... I don't remember what it's called. The Forest Kingdom? I don't think it's called the Forest Kingdom. Um... Yeah, let me just check it out. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go. I, I've done enough here. Let me get that checkpoint just for the ship and giggles. Yeah, we have collected enough stuff. Let's go back to the Odyssey, you see. And if you hear, like, uh, noise in the background, it's because of the vents, or the heat is on. Um, yeah, you know how it is. I live in a cold, cold state of Minnesota. Don't open that. No, oh, and, like, my microphone is, like, right above the heater. But, like, based on how my room is positioned, it's just, like, it's either, like, my bed is in a bad spot, or my TV is in a bad spot. And so I chose for the TV to be in a bad spot, even though it's technically in a good spot. Regardless, let us go to the next location. Oh, the Wooded Kingdom. See, I knew it wasn't the Forest Kingdom. So I said, like, I wasn't too familiar with this level. I did some exploration on my own time, on my main file, and there's a lot of 
moons that are just really out of the way. So I'm like, well, uh, I guess I'll explore a little bit during this playthrough. I also realized you can't, like, copy and save your file onto other file slots, so, like, if something goes wrong with this file, then I'm just shit out of luck, which... Um, yeah, Pokemon Sapphire, that Let's Play, was, like, much of the same. And Splatoon, too, okay, hold on. I mean, Splatoon T-O-O, -O, as in the first Splatoon. Like, the, the Pokemon Sapphire playthrough, like, I had, like, two parts where, like, the gameplay got corrupt, but they both happened to be during parts I was gonna cut out anyways, which... That's a miracle on its own, that, like... Like, the part where the video got corrupt was like, oh, I, would, I didn't need that either. Anyway, well, I just said the same thing twice. But if you want to hear it a third time, I did not need that gameplay anyways, so I just cut it out. And I was going to plan on cutting it out in the first place anyways. Wait, do you hear something? Yeah, I don't really care. Um, hold up, this rabbit is on my kill list. Yeah, there we go. We got a moon right here. And then let's get this other moon. I knew about it already, but the speedrun made it a lot easier to get. Boop. Like, normally it's like kick that rock around like 10 or 15 times, but apparently you can just like hit a rock with a rock. And good. Um, yeah, let's go up here, because why the fuck not? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta come in from here. I don't know how to do it any other way. Damn it. Okay, you know what? We're not doing that. I'm wasting all your time. I forgot there was a Sphinx here. Does he just disappear normally? What the fuck? I don't even remember the Sphinx. He came here for flowers, baby. <laughs> Soiree bouquet. Hold up. Do you have any other shit for me? He has no more questions for me. Yeah, then he just disappears. Okay. I swear there was like another moon in here, but maybe that's post-game. I'm spoiling stuff. Okay, um, yeah, I really don't remember anything around these areas. Let's get this nice checkpoint here and get some more money in the bank. There's a hundred in this world, so it's like Toast Arena. Except on this one, I only have like 70 and not like 90 something on my main file. But hey, this music is pretty cool. I thought this was like the shop music, like based on the trailer, but it's actually like a world's music, so that's nifty. I don't remember if I've done this area. Let me, wait. Hold on, I gotta get these before I forget. Before I forget, I am a creature before I'm a man. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh no, I have done this area. There's like two moons in here. Oh, there's always two moons in the secret areas. What am I, who, who am I trying to fool here? Yep. Nice, okay. And then right up here is a little pocket secret. Flooding pipeway ceiling secret. Ooh. Alright, um, uh, I'm really good at running into these fuzzies, so, I'm also really good at collecting purple money. Alright, um, should I risk it? I want to risk it. Oh, boy, okay. Ah, shit, okay, wow, that worked out, except I have to wait for these guys now. And there we go, that's both of the moons in this area. And the moons are blue this time, they were red last time. Well, actually, they were pink. Pinkie Pie. Okay, uh, what other secrets lie before us in the Wooded Kingdom and the... Come on, okay. It's, it's called the Wooded Kingdom, and then as we will discover soon, there are a bunch of nuts here. <laughs> Do I have to open those up? Oh, no, no, those are just naturally there. Yeah, I like this guy. I don't know his name, but I just call him Nut. With two T's. Yeah, just break the nuts. Bust a nut. The nut round the corner. Don't do that in public, kids. Or adults. Especially the adults, I suppose. If you're a kid and you do that, it's forgivable. It's a forgivable mistake. Alright, um... Yeah, this area is kind of annoying. You can throw your hat to get rid of the poisonous scoop. Like Mario Sunshine and shit. And you will get hurt if you touch it. So also keep that in mind. Alright, and then here's an area. Yep. I don't remember what all lies in here. 
another nut we can nut and bust open. The nut in the red maze. Do not nut in the red maze, guys. For the love of God, do not nut in the red maze. Alright, check this out. Bum, ba, da, dun, dun. Okay. Yeah, here's a little puzzle. You gotta lift that up first, and then you can go up. Ooh, puzzle solving. Alright, we got 19 out of 100 boys. Um, do I still need this guy? I probably do, but... It's alright. No, I need to throw my hat at him, and then he'll be like, Oh shit, that hat is heavy, man. I'm like, what the fuck? And that's a required mission, apparently. Yahoo! Okay. I might actually wrap up the episode. I mean, I, I think I did like a jump cut area thing. I don't remember. But that glass is broken. Why did it make it so you can move the camera during the cutscenes? Like, that's kind of weird. Like, look. Oh, no, I can't do that yet. Maybe there will be a scene. Otherwise, it's just like specific scenes. Alright, I'm gonna just check this out over here. Okay, there's a nut up here. I think I can just break it as Mario. So I'm gonna try and do that. Yeah, okay, good. Mario busts the nut. The nut at the dead end. Do not nut at the dead end, guys. Alright, um, can I get back up there through normal means? I probably could have, but it's okay. We're just gonna take the long route because there are more purple coins available. Some purple nuts. Do not nut <laughs> purple in the just in general. All right, all the prime plants have died. Let's continue going on this magical road we call life. And I believe there is another nut we can bust over here. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that did not work out at all. Let's do that better this time. Alright, and then the nut is gonna be over here. No, it isn't. I thought there was a nut here. I may be mistaken about the- Oh no, the nut is up here. The nut has not moved. Only I have. Just gonna bust that with our ass this time. Cracked nut on a crumbling tower. Do not nut crack, guys. Do not do that. Um, then we're just gonna return to that little base area, get some coins. And that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Feel free to leave a like as well if the channel grow and subscribe to get updates on my uploads as soon as they happen. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.